Okay, so tonight for dinner, I am making a Greek inspired meal. So this is some chicken thighs, some cut up eggplant, and I always peel my eggplant. <laughs> I season both of these with oregano, dried oregano, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. My grocery store didn't have the non, the little dippers that I like. So I am going to attempt to make some dough, homemade naan, using some Greek yogurt, baking powder because I don't have self-rising flour, baking soda, a little bit of garlic powder and salt, and of course, flour. So <laughs> we are gonna attempt this. Um, I made it a long time ago with self-rising flour and just added the yogurt but I haven't done it in a while. So I just wanna make four. So I actually cut the recipe in half that I saw online. So that's what I have here, all the ingredients. And what I'm gonna do is actually sift the flour and the baking soda and baking powder, and probably everything actually, right in this bowl. And then I'll add the yogurt. You can see I sifted the flour, baking powder, baking soda, garlic powder, and salt. And that's what you see here. And now I'm just gonna add the half a cup of plain non-fat Greek yogurt. And I like the Faji brand. Okay, I'm gonna get that all in there. Now, what you might've noticed is I didn't add all the flour. This is two thirds of a cup. I let a little aside or I put a little aside because I'm not sure how dry or wet this is gonna be. So we'll see how it goes and I'll see if I'll have to add more. So the directions say to stir this with a wooden spoon and it said it's gonna be a little dry like this, but that I should start kneading it with my hands. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be messy. Um, but if I need to, I can add just a little bit of water if it's too wet, I can add a little bit more of my flour. Okay, here's the dough just mixed with my hands and it looks pretty good. It's not too sticky, it's not too dry. So I'm gonna let this sit for five minutes as per the directions and then I'm gonna roll it out, probably knead it a little bit first and then roll it out. Just gonna divide the dough till about four, into about four. There we go, four kind of even pieces. Then I'm just rolling this piece into a ball, close enough to a ball. Then I'm just gonna roll it out a little bit. This isn't necessary, um, but since I have a rolling pin, I thought I'd try it. <laughs> And I want kind of an oval shape. So there I go, oval shape. So there's one. I'm gonna continue and make all four. Okay, since there's no real fat in these non brads, I am I did spray the pan with a little avocado oil and I'm just gonna cook them in the skillet. I'll do two at a time. Don't these look gorgeous? Look at that. So I can't wait to eat these. And the way I make them, it came out to 86 calories. And I'll put the little um, recipe that I used. I kind of used the recipe and kind of made up my own. Um, I'll put that in the description in case you want to give it a try.